I'm Ryan with Broncho. Well, how did Broncho start? We're still not sure. Uh, nobody knows. We have a few scientists working on that to figure that out and get us an answer back. I know we sent the question over to CERN, and they ran it through their Large Hadron Collider, and they're supposed to get us an answer back sometime within the next six months or so. But uh, we're happy to be here. Bad behavior is about all of us. We all got a little in us. Some have more than others. But uh, and bad behavior sometimes is a good thing. It uh, depends, I guess, as to what we're talking about. Sometimes, uh, frankly, we don't know what we're talking about. It usually kind of con shows up in different ways. Um, I think we like things to come to us. And uh, that's usually what happens. Something will start coming up and we'll kind of be messing around with it. And it will get to a place where we find ourselves playing it together. Sometimes stuff will be in my head for a little bit. And sometimes we'll kind of piece it together when we're together. And mix and match. Everything's a little bit different, but it all kind of ends up going to the same place, if that makes sense. Well, part of it is to um, use them what you got. So from recording-wise, it's like, how do we make sense with the the budget we have or like the... And it's not that we necessarily even think about those things, but it's the way it pans out because we want something to sound good or we want it to sound tapey, but all we have is like a little tape machine. So then we send it through that and it ends up, it's, it's all about limiting your options or uh, in some cases being born with limited options. <laughs> so you take what is there and you, um, and you use it. I don't think we go out of our way to do anything, uh, especially changing records. So we usually just uh, try to stay pretty natural about it. That's the only thing we purposely do. We just try to keep it nice and tight, in and out. We don't want anybody to get annoyed with us too quick. So we try to get out of there real fast. I like the Speed Demon video. We did that with our friend Jared in our warehouse. And uh, we're in an RV for part of it. I remember that. It was a fun hang, though. All of our videos end up being fun hangs, and that's why I like doing videos. Magic Mark stars in a few of our videos, and you can see him... In a few other videos, too, he shows up uh, in the background randomly. He knows magic. Alice Cooper. Why Alice Cooper? He knows how to put on a show. He's got a stage production... I would like to learn a couple things from him. Seems like a good hang. Is that an influence of yours or just, just so much? Uh, yeah, definitely. But um, just through in, in all kinds of ways. He, uh, through the way that he, some moves he made in his career um, are a couple of things that I can remember hearing about are very um, inspirational. <laughs> and uh, and then also, yeah, the music's fun. I always like the music. Um, in Wayne's World, when he 
play Feed My Frankenstein. Um, I think about that scene a lot, and it makes me happy. I love playing Weekend. It's track two on Bad Behavior, out now, everywhere, and in stores. Oh, uh, yeah, Sandman's one of my favorites on that record. Well, Mr. Sandman's one of my favorite songs of all time, so I guess it's an ode to uh, to the original. Yeah. And I always liked the idea of the Sandman. Uh, I love dreaming. You know, like getting in bed, you know? I love being in bed. It feels good. I like getting out of bed, too, but you got to be in bed to get out of it, so I like that. We saw a car spin out on the highway the other day. That was pretty graphic. They were fine. We were, we were too. But when you see a car spin around, it's, it's like you forget that that's what cars can do, you know? And uh, I guess it's an important reminder of how serious things are on the highway. Yeah, uh, I learned this from my grandmother. It's one of my all-time favorite hobbies. She taught me how to do it, and one day I will teach my kids how to do it, and my grandkids how to chill. And it's something I love to do when I get home. You can find Broncho at broncho.tv as well as on Instagram under the name Broncho Worldwide, on Twitter at Broncho Band, and via email bronchoband at gmail.com. Oh, and on Facebook too, backslash Broncho. Or Broncho Band. I'm not sure about Facebook. <laughs> hey, this is Ryan with Broncho, and you're watching R&R &R TV. We love you.